Hey, it's a regular guy. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the Glock 43, the 43X, and the 48, because they're all sitting right here. All right, here they all are. First up, we got the Glock 43, and they've all been pre-cleared. You're like, all right, what's the difference? So what's the good and bad about all of them? I mean, they're all good. I mean, this one, it feels really good. The dot works good. The op mod slide on here works good. Uh, this one is the most concealable of all of them. I mean, uh, if you're looking for the concealed carry every day, very concealable. Uh, that's my favorite part of it. And you're like, well, you don't like the round capacity and stuff like that. Well, check out my video on the uh, Shield 9 magazines, the metal mags right here that, that hold the uh, 9 plus 1, and then you'll have, uh, you'll have 10. So very small weapon, and uh, I'm not going to chamber anything, but look. But then, look at that still... Still very concealable, uh, does not extend your handle much, and you have the nine plus one. So, I mean, hey, that's best concealed carry all day. Uh, all right, 43X, what we got here? I'd say this is a good in-between between these two, because this is the 48 and 43X right here. I mean, they're basically the same. I mean, look, the lower part is the same, except I got a magwell on here. Uh, the barrel is a little bit longer on the 48. It's really the only difference, but this one is not quite as concealable, but you get a full purchase on your hand without a magazine extension or anything like that. Uh, it shoots really good. I mean, it feels just almost perfect in your hand, like a balance between uh, the smallest frame. Like if you had this with a flush magazine, your pinky's gonna hang off the bottom. I mean, it's still usable and still shootable, especially for concealed carry situations. I mean, for close range, it's, it's, it's on point. Uh, this one just gives you a little bit more purchase uh, on your weapon and you do have an optics or a light rail on the bottom here if you want to use it. I mean, this is just the perfect in-between weapon right here. But the only reason I don't like it as much for concealed carry is the, the length of the handle and then with the magazine in it, it just, it adds that much to it that causes it to print a little bit. I mean, but I carry appendix. This might not be a problem for you. Uh, if you don't carry appendix and you don't and if you're not worried about printing so this has a little bit too much print for me uh the barrel's not too long or anything like that even though it does have the the comp and stuff on it um you know it's basically the same as a 48 uh that uh with with no comp this would be the same length as one of those uh this one i've been shooting a bunch so it's still dirty um i got i need to clean it while i'm out here also this brings us to the king daddy of all of them the 48 I love this Glock 48. I mean, it's a nine millimeter um, Glock 19 slim, basically. I mean, it's the same dimensions as a nine millimeter, but slim. I mean, my friend made the uh, 3D printed magwell, so I'm testing it out over here. So far, it's been working good. I mean, you got your, your light rail and stuff on here for your light. Um, I mean, I love it that it's an MOS cut and everything, that it will take like this EPS optic. I mean, I got this thing, I'm hitting at 50 yards. Like, man, this thing is great. I got the Parker Mountain Machine barrel comp combo. Keeps that barrel flat shooting Johnny Glock's trigger, which is really light. So man, I'm able to just keep hammering them at like 50. Very smooth shooting. I mean, I mean this trigger, I think we tested it, it was like right at three pounds. Uh, I mean, this thing feels so smooth. So if you haven't seen the review on the trigger, check out the Johnny Glock's 4311 trigger on here. But okay, so if you're doing some kind of open carry or something like that, you're like, well, why wouldn't you go with just a 19? Yeah, you could. This one just feels really good in your hand to me. I mean, I don't mind the double stack Glock, uh, but this just feels like it's made as part of your hand right here. Um, very accurate, especially with this barrel. But on the other hand, concealed carry, it's not the best for concealed carry because once again, just like the 43X, it prints a little bit too much for the appendix carry for me. If that's not a problem for you, if you're gonna do the open carry or you're gonna do the five o'clock or something like that, four o'clock, uh, it should not really bother you. Uh, but if you're trying to carry concealed and be the most concealable possible, I mean, this, this is not the way to go. This is by far the best shooting with the longer barrel, it's slightly more accurate. You got a longer sight radius and stuff. So that, especially with the dot, which I love, I mean, this thing is pr the most accurate of the three. Second most accurate is probably this uh, 43X, just because of the longer barrel and sight radius and stuff like that. So accuracy here, here, close range concealment, I would definitely go with uh, the Glock 43. I mean, um, it is what it is. I had the extra frame and stuff, so I bought this op mod slide and I, I just turned it into an extra 43 just for a little concealed carry. I mean, um, not necessarily a looker or whatnot, but hey, looks are secondary to performance. But other than that, I mean, it shoots really good. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this thing is wonderful, especially for close range. And if you have the, uh, like I said, the, the extension magazine in there, 
um, it fits your hand flush and it's not quite as long as the Terran tactical ones that are out here. So the shield did it really good on this one. I mean, I like it. Uh, so for concealed carry, I'm sticking with this, but for best shooting, you know, open carry type thing or something else where I'm not worried about printing winter clothing, I'm definitely gonna go with the, the 48. But for the everyday kind of mid, if you just want something that will go for either one, this 43X, I mean, this is where it's at. It's kind of the best of both worlds kind of in between. I mean, now you can let me know what your thoughts are. You know, if you had anything similar, uh, maybe you totally disagree, maybe you agree. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Regular guy's opinion.